Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> Indeed. And welcome back, everybody. This is Dave. Let's play some more Dark Souls 3. In our last episode, we unlocked a shortcut through the Consumed King's Garden. And with that in mind, let's get our asses back there. It's Lothar Castle. Yes, we got some souls to get back. God, we're gonna need every one we could scrape together now. It's 50 grand a level. Christ, we're at that part of the game. And there's no DLC for me to grind. So I can become hilariously overpowered. Whatever will I do? Looks like I might actually have to get good. At fighting all these bosses and co op. Yeah, looks like helping other people beat the dancer is going to be my primary form of grinding from here to the end. Not that I think we'll really need it. We did just get a plus 10 weapon, and we got more Estus than any one person could reasonably have. God, look at that. Look at that. Cleaving through these fools. They're not gonna know what hit them. After all that time, fucking around with a plus seven. Amazing how fast we jumped all the subsequent levels. No, we need to do. All we really can do is get our strength up to as high as it can go. Then we might actually stand a chance. Oh, right. And then the elevator here. Yes. And then this right here. Yes. And here we are. Easy trip back. Uh, even if that motherfucker did mm, kill us by trapping us in a corner. But we learned our lesson. There's stairs on this side and no stairs on that side. So, can I just get one of you? Please? Maybe? Right, his pathfinding knows what's up. Okay, come on, big guy. Duel of the large swords. Ooh, overcompensation. All the poise. Ooh, okay. Huh. Well, this is not going to plan. Because, <laughs> of course, it's not about the strength of your weapon. It's about whether or not you can use it. Oh god damn. Oh god damn. Yeah, come on, buddy. Right over here. got poise for days. And that fucking hunk of iron, he's calling a sword. Oof. Does all the damage.
Whew. Fucking finally. Okay. Wow. Did you see how much stamina he had? Jesus Christ. <sighs> There's always one. It's never simple, is it? No. Couldn't be easy now, could it? These bastards had to be difficult. Ugh, not used to it on my left hand. Sorry, guys. Better be a bonfire at the end of all this. That's all I'm saying. What the fuck am I uh, using these embers for anyway? Running. Running a whole bunch. Good. That's a good idea, actually. Putting your summon sign right there. God. People are gonna need some help with this shit. Okay. One down. God. Thinking of just running right past you, buddy. Can I even... Now I can. What is it? Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, never want to do that again. So, magic stone plate ring. Probably says the same as the other ones. Yes. Granted to... Blue stone plates are granted to the Royal Palace Guards. So, might be getting close to that prince we're supposed to find. Those clothes we're kind of wearing. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Look. Ooh. Listen. That does not sound healthy at all. Really? 
visions of old Codger. Well, shit. No wonder it was so hard to get in here. That's the boss door. God, I've only got six Estes. Shit. I wonder if there's a way to circumvent these assholes? No, of course not. The way you circumvent these assholes is you pull both of them up there, and then you run like hell to the boss door. Pots. Hawkmore! The deserter! Well, what do you know? Come here. Hey, Hawkmore. You're, you have a name that's spelled correctly, so you're obviously an NPC. Come on, buddy. Come on, this way. Fuck all them. Don't even have to worry. And I think I've read somewhere that Hawkmore is the name of the crestie, crestfallen warrior in this game? I mean, it looks like it. He's got our sword. What have we here? Caius Schneider. That's, that's an actual player. We don't need that. We need to traverse this fog and see what we can see. Oh, he looks lovely. Who the hell are you, then? Oh, yuck. Oh, have you been messing with the sea creatures? Ah, you ignorant slaves. Finally taken notice, have you? Dude. Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. Ocelot? Revolver Ocelot? Well, I will not give him up. Oh, God. For he is all that I have. Not asking you to, bro. Oh, no. Somebody did it. They finally fucking did it. Turned a human into an everlasting dragon. Human turned himself into an everlasting dragon. Oh, it's Osiris, the consumed king. Nice. You're a big one. Ooh, and that tail is lethal. So let's just get up in your business. He got health, though. He got health for days. Dear little Ocelot, where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? No. No. Show yourself, Ocelot. My... Ocelot! Jesus. He's going crazier. Whoa. That's some dark magic he's got right there. Whoa! Jesus Christ. Oof! Fuck me. Heal. Ah! Well, we got him down to half, at least. <laughs> Jesus. Iframes, bitch. Okay. Your Highness. Are you 
hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. Child of Kraken's. What could you possibly fear? No. No. Show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. a lot. Something tells me you liked he you liked him a lot more than he liked you. Yeah, then he goes full bloodborne. Yeah, those sucks. But I can counter hit him. Thank God for that. Your Highness. No, 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 no. No! In your face, Your Highness. Woo! Soul of consumed Osiris. And 58 grand. Oh. -ho. <laughs> I gotta... I gotta lay down for a second. Give me a... Oh, give me a minute. Okay. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Wow. That was just... <laughs> oh! God, the bosses in this have been quite fun, actually. Much better than the parade of dudes in armor we were greeted with in Dark Souls 2. And, while not quite the uh, surreal, insane standards of Bloodborne, I'd say a 20-foot tall dragon man. Yeah, that's that's almost exactly uh, what I would hope to see in a Dark Souls game. Uh, I have not actually seen that before. We fought 60-foot long dragons. But, again, that was Dark Souls 2, and yeah. So, now that we did that, can... Wait, will we get a cutscene if we open that door? I don't fucking know. I'm gonna do this, just in case. Because, yeah. And... Oh, God, it's like the door to Wolner's. Or after Wolner. What have we here? Huh? Just more? More of the... Yeah, that looks like the dungeons, actually, to me. So, yes, let's let's go back to... Firelink. Wow. Okay. Shit, he was tough, but almost everything uh, was based on intimidation. It was all based around the idea that you'd be too scared to get up close to him. And honestly, they wasted that uh, area of effect spell on his first phase. We really need—he really needed it in the second. But that's what all his thrashing around was supposed to replace. Very well, then take me. Yeah. Wow. We only have one. Fuck. Fucking fuck a duck. Yeah. Let's just do that. Farewell, 
passion made the flame. Thanks. Thanks, doll. Appreciate it. Save the rest of that for when we, yes, fight that guy three or four more times. Soul of Osiris, Osiris, the consumed king. Uh, Osira, Osiris went mad, trying to harness his royal blood for a greater purpose, leading him to the heretics of the Grand Archives, where he discovered the twisted workshop of Seath the Pale Drake. That dumb bastard. That dumb bastard. Oh my god, he went... Oh, he went to the Duke's archives. And he discovered Seath's notes. He's like... He's like one of those assholes who buys Castle Frankenstein. And, and he's like, hey, what's, what's all this scientific equipment in the basement? I should start playing with it. Aha, uh -huh, that's so Let's see what we get for his soul. There we go. Soul of the deluded, consumed king, Osiris, emits crystal breath of Seath the Scaleless. Has piercing qualities. Seath's research seemed to strike a chord with old Big Hat, who, in his mad, disrobed state, made divine works such as this his own. Osira, Osiris was no doubt edified by this. Oh, who, in his mad, disrobed state, made divine works such as this his, o his own. Mm, sorry. Ah, little channeling Zizek there for a second. Um, but yeah, in... Okay, so Big Hat Logan, if you completed his quest in Dark Souls 1, he would go mad and wind up a, yes, naked man, except wearing a very large hat, uh, running around with a magic uh, club, I think, or something, and just, you know, attacking you on sight once you'd bought all of his uh, sorceries from him. Hurls chaos flame that scorches vicinity. I kind of, yes, I really do. Kind of, I can use it even in everything. It takes two slots, but hmm. Yeah, you know, let's see, that would be nice to have. Let's, let's, what do you think? What do you think? Well, what else are we going to do with the old Demon King's soul? Are we going to buy that fucking axe he's got? No. That club of his? No. Let's just go ahead and do that. And what else do we get? Ah. Ah. The Moonlight Greatsword. Legendary dragon weapon associated with Seath the Pale Drake. Charge strong attacks to its limit to unleash Moonlight Wave. Osiris, the consumed king, was infatuated with the search for Moonlight, but in the end... It never revealed himself to him. Yes, please. Ah. Uh, oh, in fact. Now, now. We got it, you guys. Fucking finally. Yep. That is a Moonlight Greatsword. Oh, yes, it is. Two, three. Okay, we get five, and a little in the tank to roll. Ooh. Shiny, shiny. Fully charged. Yes. Weapon art. Yes! Oh, it is! Oh, I got my greatsword back, you guys. Shield's too heavy for it. I'm gonna need one of the crest shields. Like, say. Yeah. Like, say, the Dragon Crest. Yes, and we can still be nimble and quick. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, yes. Now we're cooking with Moonlight. Let's just see if we have the Titanite to upgrade this fucker to something approaching. Where are... Yeah, that's 395 versus 248. Ah. Jesus, it's expensive. But look at all that. Oh my god. Plus one. Plus 
plus two, plus three. Oh god, and we need eight Titanite scales now in order to get it up to plus four. Shit. But still, <laughs> that's that's still. Can we? Yeah. Now that we've got the damn thing, can we actually? Will it do any good? Three ninety five. Oh, it's only hell. It's only five. Yeah, it's only a few off of our claymore. Jesus! After all that time we put into the claymore, this sucker's only a ten points below it. And it does almost all magic damage, though. That might be something. Especially if we're going where I think we're going. And... Gonna have to face down a shit ton of magical creatures. So... Let's just winnow down our... Weapon selection here. Yeah... Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck the two storm rulers. Fuck that. Fuck Wolverine's claws. Fuck the sniper crossbow. Fuck snipers in general. Wherever they are. Get rid of that. Keep all the shields, though. Except the pierce shield. That can go on the pile. And. And yeah, okay. Ha! Oh, that was awesome, though. Man Dragon. His ugliness revealed. Yes. Transformed by power into even more hideous ugliness. And when next we meet, then, looks like we're going out another dungeon to <laughs> crawl through. Maybe this one won't be uh, quite so full of cursing aristocrats. Uh, damn, aristocrats should learn some civility. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching. Hope you rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. When we play more Dark Souls 3.